Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at one of the creepiest frauditor, Let Me Audit You, as he is harassing people at the post office and then the employees completely shut down the post office on him, preventing him from harassing people any further. It's honestly very satisfying to watch. Before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications. That way you never miss another video. We are 33,000 strong and growing every day. With that out of the way, enjoy the video. Hey, let me audit you. Out here in Calga Falls, Ohio today, I'm using my monopod for the first time that I got in since uh, I last did some videos. Um, Somebody put a suggestion in to do uh, an audit here at um, the post office in Cairo Falls. So, where am I? Right there. United States Post Office, Cairo Falls. So I do have to warn you, obviously we're dealing with a First Amendment independent journalist or whatever they like to call themselves these days. So the quality of the footage is going to be terrible. Honestly, it's so shitty it looks like it might have been recorded in 2005. But we'll have to bear with it because it is hilarious to see the frauditor embarrass himself. The next 20 minutes or so is just him standing in front of the post office looking like a complete creep. So I'm going to play it and fast forward because obviously we don't have that much time to waste. His viewers do, we don't. So usually I would completely skip this part, but I just wanted to show just how creepy he is. He's literally waiting there for 20 minutes to try to get a reaction. Usually someone like Amagansa Press will be smart enough to cut out the dead air to make it look like people are freaking out for no reason, but this guy is leaving it in the video. Obviously, the post office is going to have an issue with a complete weirdo just standing in front there and just recording everybody that walks in and out. One eternity later. Car number 28, K9 unit. On the curb. <laughs> Okay. Just reporting. Yeah. Because I can. No, I understand that. Why at the post office? Why not? This is a sidewalk. It's public no, no, property. No, I know. Okay. I, I'm just saying it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't matter. So you're just. I don't have to you? make sense. No. No. You don't. I can make dollars. That. That'd be better. You could what? Make dollars. That'd be better. No, I understand that. That's what this country's all about. Yeah. You're making dollars. But I'm just wondering what's the point of people going in to the post office and you're videotaping. Exactly. Doesn't matter. Can it, by the way, can I, I, it's Dennis, right? Yeah. What's your badge number? 4282. Thank you. Did I get your name and badge number? Uh, 6907. Cook. Thank you. Just don't Appreciate disrupt it. the customer. I'm not, yeah. I'm not disrupting. I've had, I've had a good conversation What's with one. Name, buddy? 
Uh, you can call me Mr. Freedom. Okay. Mr. Mr. Freedom? Yep. Okay. Well, I understand. Do you have a social A what? Your social security number. Why would I give you that? Because they got to do a report. No, you can call me Mr. Freedom. Mr. Freedom? Mr. Freedom. Yeah. You got a phone on I didn't call you. No, I know you didn't. So you don't need that information from me. All right. I'd like the incident report number, though. That'd be cool. Yeah. Somebody well, called on me. Why do you need it? Well, somebody called the police on me. Shouldn't I, mean, I know? I really don't have anything to put in the report. I have Mr. Freedom, but there's nothing to it. Yeah, that's awesome. There's nothing to it. Yeah. And I'll see you. You good? Oh. So he wants to be called Mr. Freedom, but honestly a good name for him would be Mr. Creepy. Because he's one of the biggest weirdo in the frauditing community. I told you guys, there was one video where he was recording little girls playing soccer. I mean, how creepy is that? This is nice. Actually, there is. Call him again. Where's the poster seven? Probably over here. Poster 7, right there. Yes, Poster 7 is right there. Why doesn't he take time and actually read the whole thing? Don't stop where it's convenient, just read the entire paragraph. I'm not pointing it at the credit card machine on purpose. I'm buying a stamp. You're buying a stamp? Yes. No, I am. Um, my camera's pointed in the other direction. It's I mean, your purpose isn't to buy stamps with the camera. It's why? <laughs> You see, I wasn't recording it. I'm pointed at the window. I'd just like to purchase a stamp, please. Thanks. Awesome. Go ahead and turn that the other way, though. See? Can I get a receipt? You cannot film with a credit card machine in our register here. You cannot. This do is that, there's sir. no credit card information there. Sir, you cannot film us. I can. There you go. You're ref you're refusing me service. Please film Can I get your information? I don't feel comfortable. 
I'm trying to buy a stamp. No, you're not. There's no way you actually legitimately want to buy a stamp. If you wanted to buy a stamp, you would have walked in and purchased a stamp without recording the employees. But you've been here for over 40 minutes now trying to bait a situation. Well, there you go. They know what you're up to and they're about to shut down the entire post office on this clown. I'm a customer. No. I... I'm in a public space, public accessible space. I'm allowed to. Read your. You're going to refuse me service. Can I get your employee number? Can I get your employee number so I can file a complaint? Horrible federal employee. <sighs> so, refused service by federal employees would not sell me a stamp. They're calling the police again. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna wait out here, talk to these guys once more. The rest of the video is 100% dead air. He waits for about six minutes and then he decides to leave because he knows he's in the wrong, obviously, and he got owned. This is how it should be done every single time. The frauditor doesn't want to comply, doesn't want to stop recording. You just shut down service and then he'll leave because he'll have no choice. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. If you enjoy this video, I'm sure you will also enjoy my other channel, Josh Prime. On that channel, I cover drunk drivers, idiots, Karens, all sorts of criminals. So I'll see you there. The link is in the description. I live here!